Hello friends, this is Shravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering by Shravan. To subscribe my channel, click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates. In this video, I will explain you analysis and designing of a duplex house, G plus one house uh, by using Statro V8 software part two. So I was already done my modeling part in my previous video. Please follow that video. So for the modeling process, so this is my final view for this respected G plus one duplex house. So after modeling process completed, we need to apply the load cases. So for that initially we need to go to general option, select the loads and definitions. Initially we need to define the seismic loading condition as well as the wind loading condition. So as per my assumption, just I am taking this respected building of duplex house will be constructed in zone 5 condition, which is nothing but your high seismic zone. So initially we need to define the parameters which are related to the seismic loading condition. So select the seismic definitions, click on add button. Initially, we need to select the IS code, just I am selecting IS 1892-2002-2005, click on generate option. So, it will generate the parameters for this respected table like this. So, in this way, I am just I am selecting zone which is consisting of zone 5 condition which is having 0.36 is the factor of value. So, again we have to select special RC movement resisting frame, just I am selecting medium soil condition. Click on uh, select the damping ratio which is related to 0 0.05, nothing but your 5 percentage. Click on generate option. So it will add the parameters which is related to the respected zone 5 condition like this. Again click on add button. Now here we need to add the self add factor as 1. So after that we need to add the member weight which is related to the dead load of the beam section. So here I am considering the calculator. So here I am taking 0.23 cross. 0.3 is the beam size, we need to multiply this so with the unit rate of the concrete. So it will be comes under 1.725. So here we need to enter the value as 1.725, which is related to the uniform load. Click on add button. So after adding this respected uniform load, we need to consider the wall load. So in case if you are only concentrating on the structural load cases, we no need to consider the wall load. So if not, we need to consider the wall load for this respected structure also. So we need to calculate the wall load for the respected uh, 9 inches. So here I am taking 0.23 is my wall size. We need to multiply this with the unit rate of the brickwork. Again we have to multiply this respected value with the height of the story. So it will be comes under load of 13.11 kilo Newton per meter. Again we have to enter this respected value of weight as 13.11 kilo Newton per meter uniform load. Click on add close option. Again we have to assign these two load cases for this respected beam sections. So select this respective load cases. So go to select option, beams parallel to x direction condition. Again, I am selecting beams parallel to z direction condition. Click on assign the selector beams, assign yes option. Again, I am selecting uniform load, which is related to the beam section, which are parallel to x direction. Again, select beams which are related to z direction. Click on assign the selector beams, assign yes option. So after that, we need to define the wind loading definitions. Select wind definitions option, click on add button. So here we need to add type 1 wind 1, click on add button, select type 1 wind 1. So for this respected height of the building, we need to calculate the intensities. So here I am considering 0.5 is the intensity which is acting at a distance of 6 meter height. Again I am taking 0.2 which is acting at a distance of 3 meter height, click on add. Again we have to add intensity of wind exposure as 1, add it, close option. Select wind exposure, assign to be option, assign yes option. So after that we need to add the load cases. So initially we need to define the seismic load. Select load case details, click on add. Again I am selecting the seismic load which is consisting of earthquake load in x direction, add it. Again I am selecting earthquake load in z direction, add it. Again I am selecting the wind load. So select wind load in x direction condition, add button. Wind load in z direction condition, add button. Again I am selecting the dead load. So here we need to take the load as GL, add it. Again, I am selecting the live load here, LL, add button, close option. So after the select earthquake load in x direction condition, click on add button. So here we need to select the seismic load, which is in x direction with the factor 1, add it, close option. Select earthquake load in z direction, add button. In the same way, we need to select the seismic loading condition in z direction with the factor 1, add button, close option. Select wind load in x direction, add button. So here I am selecting the wind load which is in x direction condition with the factor 1, add it. Again I am selecting the factor as minus 1, add it, close option. So select the respected wind load in z direction condition, add button. 
again i'm selecting the wing load which is related to that z direction transition with the factor as 1 add button again i'm selecting it as minus 1 add it close option so after that select the dead loading condition add button again we have to add the self weight add it close option select the live load add button so here we need to select the floor load so here i'm assuming minus 3 is the intensity which is acting at a distance of 3 meter and 6 meter click on add it close option so here 3 meter is first story height and 6 meter is second story height so click on close option so after adding this respected load cases we need to select the self weight assign to be option assign yes option so after assigning the self weight we need to define the load combinations so select the load case details option here so here i am click on add button so here we need to select auto load generation combination so click on auto load general combination so here we need to select indian code click on generate loads so it will generate the combinations like this 21 click on add button close option so after that go to analysis and print add your no print close option go to analyze option run analysis save it so here we need to check for the zero errors for this respected analysis part so here my model is checking for the zero error so it was observed with zero errors here go to post processing mode click on done option apply your all load cases click on ok so this is the deflection of this respected building due to presence of the dead loading condition due to presence of the dead load the building will be deflected in this direction like this again i am selecting the live loading condition again i am selecting earthquake load in x direction due to presence of the seismic load in x direction the deflection will be occur like this seismic load in z direction condition wind load in x direction wind load in z direction so after that we need to see the shear force as well as bending mode diagram deselect the deflection select b deselect mz select fy so this is the shear force diagram for this respected building due to presence of the wind load in z direction condition so here i am selecting it as dead loading condition so this is the shear force diagram which is related to the dead load Again, I am selecting live load condition, earthquake load x direction condition, earthquake load in z direction condition, wind load in x direction condition, again wind load in z direction condition. So, after that, select the plate load, apply your stress type as maximum absolute pressure, click on apply, click on ok. So, this is the maximum absolute pressure for the respected earthquake load in x direction, z direction, wind load x, wind load z, dead load condition, live loading condition. So, this is the combination uh, stress diagram for this respected building. So after that select the animation, click on deflection, apply, ok. So this is the animation which is related to the combination, earthquake load x direction, z direction, wind load x, wind load z, dead load condition, live loading condition. So this is the combination deflection. So after the analysis process completed, we need to design this respected duplex house. So for that go to modeling, click on design. Initially we need to select the concrete design. So here we need to select the IS code, just I am selecting IS456 here. So initially we need to select the parameters for the designing part. So here I am selecting select the parameters. Initially we need to design all selected parameters. Select compressed and A-list and A-list and of shear enforcement. Maximum main, maximum secondary, MD1, MD2. Click on OK option. Again select refined parameters. So for this respected building just I am taking M25 grade concrete, 25,000. Click on add button. Again select FY main. So here I am considering 550,000. Click on add button. Again, I am selecting shear enforcement is also 550,000. 550. Click on add button. Select maximum main. So here I am selecting it as 16 mm rods. Click on add. Section also 16 mm rods. Click on add button. Select MD1. Just I am selecting it as 12 mm. Add it. Again, I am selecting MD2 also 12 mm. Add it. Close option. Select comments option. So here we need to add design pin command. Design column command, again I am selecting design slab element command, take off command, click on add button, close option. So after that select this respected quotient marks, we need to apply this compressive strength, select the FC 25,000, click on assign to view, assign, yes option. So after that we need to select the FI main which is related to the FE 550 grade steel, we need to assign this respected FE 550 grade steel for the whole grading. Select assign to view, assign yes option. In the similar way, we need to assign the section view also. Assign to view, assign yes option. Select maximum main. We need to apply this respective maximum main also for the whole building. Click on assign to view, assign yes option. Again, section also assign to view, assign yes option. Select MD1, assign to view, assign yes option. MD2, assign to view, assign yes option. Now we need to select the design beam command. We need to apply this respective design beam command for the beam section which are parallel to x direction as well as this respected y direction go to select beams parallel to x direction 
Again select means parallel to Z direction. Click on assign to selected means assign yes. Again select a design column. Go to select option. Beings parallel to Y direction. Click on assign to selected beings assign yes option. Again select a design element. Assign to be assign yes option. So after that go to analysis and print. ID or no print option. Close option. Go to analyze option. Run analysis. Save it. So here we need to check for the zero errors for this respected uh, building. So here my model is checking for the zero errors for the design part. So it was observed with zero errors. Go to push to processing mode, click on done option. So here we need to deselect the deflection diagram, select the beam option here. So deselect the bending moment, select any one of the beam. Just I am selecting this respected beam number 16, just double click on it. Click on concrete design. So this is the concrete design which is related to the beam design which is consisting of 6 bars of 10 mm diameter, 270 center to center distance, top reinforcement. 6 bars of 12 mm diameter, 31 center to center distance, bottom reinforcement. Click on close option. Again select the column, just double click on it, click on concrete design. So this is the concrete design for the respected column which is consisting of 12 number of bars of 12 mm diameter. AST percentage is 1.50, AST requirement is 1274 for the respected M25 grade concrete, 550 grade steel. Click on close option. So after checking the reinforcement values for the beam section, column section, we need to see the start output file. So click on start output file option, click on the results option. So click on the concrete design. So this is the concrete design which is related to the stat output file. So which is consisting of each and individual calculations for the respected beam sections as well as column section for the duplex house of GPSM. Click on close option. So for that we need to design the foundation for this respected duplex house. So select the foundation design. In the same way we need to include the load cases which are related to dead load, live load, wing load as well as seismic load. Click on include option, click on run stat foundation. The fixed supports of this respective stat foundation will be directly imported to the stat foundation software. So these are the fixed supports for this respected uh, foundation. We need to design the foundation for this fixed supports only. So initially we need to select the combinations, select the load and factors, click on generate load combinations. So here we need to select the Indian code, click on generate load combinations for the ultimate load combination initially. Click on generate load combinations for the surface load combination. Click on OK, OK option. Again select the job setup. Click on create job. Select the job name. This time I am taking it as G plus 1. Isolated footing which is related to the Indian standard system. English, uh, we need to select it as SI system. Assign to all supports. Include all load cases. Click on create job. So it will create the foundation design isolated footing job like this. Select the isolated footing job. So, concrete and rebar, cover and side head, footing, sliding and door turning, click on design option, click on S button. So, it will design the respected foundation as per IS456 code. So, this is the isolated foundation design as per IS456 code. So, here I am selecting isolated footing design of 9. So, this is the each and individual calculations for this respected isolated footing design 9. So, click on starting page. So, this is starting page, geometry, details and drawing. Click on GA drawing, click on calculation sheet. So this is the process analysis and designing of duplex house by using StatPro V8A software. Thank you.